welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our 2012 NFL draft grade special. We're looking at the New York Giants. So let's go back and look at their draft selections to see how well they did this past April. Picking at the end of the draft is very tough, but the Giants did a great job this year of getting the best player available while filling some needs on their offense and defense. Now, what I like most about the draft, I like the fact that they hit home runs with their first three selections. You look at David Wilson with the home run threat out of the backfield. That's something the Giants were sorely missing last season from the running game. This guy has that burst, has the vision. If he can hold on to the football, he's going to be a great player. You also look at Ruben Randall. He was played in college by bad quarterback play, and he does a great job of filling the need of the loss of Mario Manningham. You replace Mario Manningham with essentially a bigger version of Mario Manningham. Giants fans are going to love the production they get out of Ruben Randall. And also J. Ron Hosley. All he did at Virginia Tech was catch interceptions. He's what Giant fans hoped Aaron Ross, Aaron Ross was going to be. So I like J. Ron Hosley. He's going to fit perfectly in that defense as a nickel or dime corner. So they added a lot of depth with a lot of quality guys here in the first three picks. The only issue I have with the Giants draft is the fact that they didn't select a defensive end. Two things you know about the Giants coming into a football season. One, Tom Coughlin will be on the hot seat by week eight. And two, O.C. Umiora will have problems with this contract and will also be injured at least four games out of the season. So why not get a guy to come in and possibly replace O.C. before it becomes an unwanted distraction? Now, some undrafted free agents that have a legitimate shot to make an impact and make the roster. I look at defensive end Matt Broha out of Louisiana Tech. All he did was hold his own for the Bulldogs on that defensive line. Does a great job at the point of attack and stopping the run. He'll bring a workmanlike effort to that defensive line and provide adequate depth on that defensive front. Now, you also look at safety Jansen Jackson out of McNeese State. He transferred over from the University of Tennessee, did a lot of good things at Tennessee before he got into some off-the-field issues, transferred over to Lake Charles, Louisiana, McNeese State, and did some solid things for the Cowboys. He's another guy that provides adequate depth and some athleticism to that back half of the defense. Rarely does a team that wins the Super Bowl stays pat and get better with their draft selections. And the Giants did just that, which is why I have to give them an A. You rarely see a team that picks last come away with three impact players, two possible starters. So I think the Giants have definitely gotten better. They've gotten stronger. So this is a team that can actually come into 2012 health permitting and have a legitimate shot of going back to another Super Bowl. I want to give a big shout out to these giant fan sites for supporting football game plan.